And if you haven't had a chance to cast a ballot yet here in Texas, you still have just a little bit of time. Let's throw it over to KVU's Jenny Lee. She is live in Travis County. And Jenny, have you been seeing any lines out there where you are? No, no line at all. I am downtown here at the Austin Library. Here, why don't you look yourself, Quita? Zero line. But here's another reason why you should come down here to this particular location. You may be able to hear. Here, turn around, Jackson. I want to show you. There is a mariachi band to greet voters. That's how festive it is down here, right? Don't they sound great? So basically, this lack of line here was a case at other polling locations we checked out throughout Travis County throughout the day. We visited several polling locations. This is certainly a different scene than the first day of early voting. You guys may remember the long lines. People, several locations had people waiting for hours. Now, here is something I have not seen curbside voting at the Wells Branch location. We captured an election worker offering this service, helping a passenger to vote, right? Because for whatever reason, they could not get out of their vehicle to do so. Now, more than half a million Travis County voters turned out to cast their ballots, breaking records, surpassing uh, early voting numbers or all of 2016 uh, vote numbers. Now, Williamson, Hayes County did so before Travis County did. A couple of big focuses for all candidates this election season was uh, the Asian and Hispanic populations. Experts say both demographics continue to grow here in Texas in a big way, so they had uh, their key to winning for them. Meantime, this election season brought out a lot of firsts. Today, I met a 53-year-old Austin woman who said it was very important for her to finally cast her ballot. It took a lot for you to come out today. Yeah, it did. How much does this mean to you? A lot. I want to get in there and I want to do this and I hope we get the right one. Because <laughs> I don't want to see them elderly people suffer. And that's just one inspiring story of one person I met today. Several other people I met today who um, had their passionate reasons why they wanted to make their voices heard. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, just a few more minutes to vote, 30 some minutes more. Come on down, no line and a mariachi band to greet you. <laughs> it is a festive scene down here. <laughs> come on, come on out, Guida. You can't beat it. Thank you, Jenny.